Futurama. Years ago, Joseph from New Smyrna, Florida, sent Talking Bender B. Rodriguez to the show for the adult collector, featuring over 12 phrases, and for quite some time now, it's been sitting on the back of the set. Like, it's been on the set, but behind everything. Now, I'm moving Bender to the front, where he belongs up on one of these shelves. I'm still assembling them, and will be for quite some time, but it's time to break Bender out from the background and give him a full review. I love the packaging here. This looks really nice. We've got the Futurama characters. We've got Fry. Leela. Crazy green boots! Bite my shiny metal ass! Yes! Futurama's been one of my favorite TV shows forever. No real surprise there. Bending unit. And, uh... Let's, let's, let's see if I can get him out of his packaging carefully. Give him a review. Bender B. Rodriguez. Gotta admit that John DiMaggio did such a great job voicing him. I like that you can change his expression if you want to. <laughs> Hopefully he still works after all these years. I'm not sure how to use it. Let's find out here. Open up his chest cavity. Uh, I guess that's where Bender would store his drugs. Or beer or whatever else he's, he's into. There a switch on the back? Yes! Alright. Let's pop him out of here and listen to what Bender has to say. What inappropriate things will come out of the speaker on his ass. He'd like that. You know he would. Fry, you dummy! I, I can't do his voice. I tried to uh, preserve the packaging so I could put him back on the shelf when I'm done here. The packaging looks really nice. Um, and so does the figure. Got the antenna on top of his head. He's a bending unit after all, so we've got the bendy arms. How many times did Bender try to pimp various things in Futurama? It's such an underrated show. I mean, just the cast of characters, Billy West doing the voice. I just love that show. Aw, here's a little song I wrote to cheer you up. It's called, Let's Go Already! Do the bender! Do the bender! It's your birthday! Do the bender! It still works! Get up, baby! You love it! <laughs> well, that was dumb! Was it? Why my shiny metal ass! Well, to be fair, it's plastic and it's not shiny. Remember the one when he. Well, we're bone. Poop bricks. I laugh my ass off on that one. I laugh my ass off on all of them. Hey, sexy mama. Wanna kill all humans? <laughs> it's been a little while since I've watched the first couple seasons of Futurama. I saw some of the newer ones and those couple movies they put out, but they just never quite had the same feel as the originals. The originals were just brilliant. Just brilliant. I think the show is just too smart for a lot of people. <laughs> Let's be honest. Bender's too smart for people. See? Shut the hell up! <laughs> Would you kindly shut your noise hole? I swear that sounds like Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. It's almost like they're the same person, but they couldn't be. I'm gonna go fill my own theme park with Blackjack and hookers. Yeah, and see? Forget the park! Hey, Bender! Who are you and why should I care? Bender's a great addition to any family function. There he is. We can even tr swap his eyes out if you want. You want to do that? Let's do that. Should we go with intoxicated Bender or high as a kite Bender? I'm going to go with this one. Here's what he looks like without his eyes. Let's, uh, let's put these on there. My favorite Futurama episode is either the one where with the Space Invaders and the All Rush mixtape. <laughs> Or the one where Bender meets God and uh, basically kills everybody. You were doing well until everyone died. That's That was a brilliant one. 
All right, there he is. I, I kind of like this look on his face. Come, cinnamon. Here's the inside of the box with Planet Express, Fry, Leela, a bunch of characters. <laughs> Where's Amy? Is she in there? There she is. Okay, she's over on this side. Oh, Hypno Toad! Everyone loves Hypno Toad. And I'm gonna keep the box. I like the box here. And see if I. I don't need the plastic part, but I'll see if I can't put Talking Bender in there. And every now and then, when I need some comic relief, I'll pull him out so that I can bite Bender's shiny metal ass. Thank you to Joseph from New Smyrna, Florida, once again. This is going to go front and center on the new set, right up there with a bunch of ColecoVision and Magnavox Odyssey 2 games. Actually, I'll put them on the shelf below. I'm not sure what's going on this shelf yet, but I'll uh, clean that up. So Bender will be surrounded by some pretty sweet games and uh, G.I. Joe in 3D. Another worthy addition to the classic game room intergalactic space arcade. Talking Bender. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.